first off at the entrance, the most perfect way to handle resident services being one space off from your airport is to make a sidewalk and then to make a crosswalk and just walk across the street. Look at that. So easy. We all struggle with this and she made it look so easy. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. Resonance Services is part of a larger building. You can see it in the back. There's simple panels going next to it to make it extend out. It does look like a Capitol building. It's very appropriate. I love the, the city core elements of that. And then I love this custom design used on the fencing. Really, really cool. So I'm gonna come along the front so you can see this street. Look at how busy and crowded it looks. So cool. We have Nook's Cranny across the street over there. As soon as I get to the crosswalk, I will cross over. And then look at this truck. Oh my gosh, she mimicked a flatbed truck using a tractor and these shopping cart or cage cart things. So cool. That is such a creative idea. Over here, we have Nook's Cranny. They have a little sales bin in the front. I love the signs. The signs are everything. So cool. We have trash. We have tanks in the back to frame the build perfectly. And then we have some little things that we would find in a convenience store. The little, um, little uh, vending machines and claw machines and gumball machines you know those simple things that you would find in any convenience store okay so i don't know what she said but the little face was really cute so i forgive it's fine we're gonna come down to the front and look at the beach that's going on in front of this this area right here Oh my goodness, so this little stand right here, if you look, it was made to look like a juice stand. I mean, it's a juice stand. And they used the double wide beach chair umbrella to you as the umbrella on the stand. And how realistic is that? That's such a great idea. I've never thought to do anything like that. So I, it's so cool, so, so cool. I'm gonna go along this way. If you guys have ever been into the in the city, you would know that this wall right here, if you go to like Venice or any type of beach in the city, this wall really does exist to separate off like the bike path and the beach. So I love that she put it here so realistic. And there's a gas station behind the wall right there. So cool some wave breakers and over here we have a little bike rental or bike parking really neat and i love the way it's kind of enclosed so there's very specific areas that you can go so we're gonna keep going across this little bridge and then i'll backtrack on the other side of the street so across this bridge we have a little train station i love that super cute and then we have Oh my gosh, we have trains. So this is a perspective build, but check it out. She made trains. How cool is this? She made the signs resemble the side of the rest, uh, the retro transportation stand, which I really appreciate. I love that. And then we have trains going in both directions, which I love. The doghouse was used as the engine in this one really really neat i even love this little grate that was used right here that's really cool and then over here we have a little area for camping and you can have a view of the peninsula over on the left side which looks really cool it also looks like a subway stand it's really cool so i'm going to go across the street oh we can go up there hang on maybe i'm not we can go up here. Look at how cool this is. Oh my goodness. We can stand on this platform. <gasps> it's an observation deck. Look at us. Wow. That's so cool. I love this. This is such a great little idea. I love that. We have a little observation deck, lighthouse situation over on... Um, the peninsula, there's stairs leading up to it. 
and you have a view of the pyramids in the back with it looks like in a in, very industrial like a very industrial area with the windmills and everything those are really cool so over here what do we have we have presents we should open the presents i don't know what they are but you know we have a blue balloon and a pocket magazine nice so we look so very studious i'm such a fan of this creator you guys you should definitely go to their instagram and give them a follow it's a train station so the little book is like a guidebook to let you know where to go or is it an airport it might be an airport whoa that is really neat so you can sit down and wait check your baggage and over here is the boys restroom oh my gosh we probably shouldn't be in here no okay so maybe that was a co-ed potty okay so here we have a food market wow oh my gosh this is so cool i love the freezer walls and then the wall partitions to kind of make it look like it's only one shelf this was decorated beautifully we have our cake counter we have a place to sit it feels so much bigger than it is that's what i have to say about this room it feels so much bigger wow and down here is where we await the train it does look very dungeony and very like train station like it was a train station oh my gosh that's super awesome now if i could read the signs i probably would have known that but you know it's a subway and then upstairs you're inside the train subway whatever it is this is such a great idea i love it and it's so simple and so simply decorated but i love the simplicity the illusion is that those are the rock walls and it leads to the conductors area right there which is super awesome we have the monitors going we have somebody left their luggage here and then there's a curtain partition over here to kind of give the illusion that there's something over there or is that a simple panel i have no idea it's really neat though whatever it is it's really cool wow this is such a cool idea i love this so much okay so this train station was super impressive you guys so impressive i don't think i've ever seen anything like it i love the double fountains in the front those are so good and then there is where we ran into our little area i love the center divider on the street it would make sense now these are all taxis so it would make sense now that the taxis are in front oh wow okay so we're gonna go back through the archway over here and i love the gate pergola gate situation going on right here that's beautiful it does lend to this illusion of it being a train station wow everything on this island is so cool you guys it's such an experience you should definitely come and see for yourself over here we have a bike parking and it looks like a post office or a ups store a packaging it is a post okay so we have a post office over here i do love the record box with the design on it and also the um boxes the box light acting as like a little package design over there i love the use of the custom codes on this island so so cool so cool i'm so impressed by this island you guys we're gonna go to the right now because that's where the street seems to be pointing okay so she used the beds to act as a roof of a building back here the illusions created on this island are top tier i have to say like this is all really really neat 
So it looks like a little apartment building right here. I'm sure it's some kind of a, an, a store of, or something. But over here looks like actual apartments. These are so cool. Everything is so realistic here. I, I just can't with the windows and the plant boxes and the clothing lines. Everything looks so varied and so neat. It's so realistic. And we have this little parking garage down here with the gate giving the illusion that it opens and closes. Super awesome. Oh my gosh. We're going to continue in this little neighborhood right here. And I think it we're coming to a ladder. We are. We're coming to a ladder. But I'm going to see the rest of this little area before we go any further. Oh, wow. Up there, there's another tunnel. There's another tunnel situation up there. That looks so cool. I don't know if we're meant to go up there, but it looks really neat. Wow. So here is another series of subway stations. We're behind the post office. It's like a back alley almost. And then you have just the view of the rooftops, which is really cool. And then a little bit more nature kind of crept in a little bit right here. I love that. Okay, so if we go over here, we have a little factory situation. It looks like a shipping plant, which is really cool. We have the train tracks, and then we have this little conductor station. I should go around the front and show you that properly. Wow. Okay, so we have another train situation that looks like a freight train. And I love that the amazing machines were used for that build. That's pretty darn awesome. And then over there, we have like a little platform seating area going on. Wow, there's so much on this island. Let me go back to the stairs and see what was going on up there. So if we come up this way, we're starting to get to villager houses. I know there's villagers here too. She even fit in villagers. Oh my gosh, go figure. It's so cool though, look at that. Definitely a cute way to set up a villager's house. We have a little campsite right here, which I think is set up as a memorial or like a temple. And we can run through here. Look at that. I love this land bridge going on right here. This land bridge is absolutely fantastic. There's a beautiful, beautiful area of terraforming over on the other side which if you guys didn't know or don't follow Sun Sun, she does natural islands as well. So she does all of this city beauty and all of this realism and also does natural islands. And I'm shook, you guys. There's so much talent in this one human. I can't even, I don't have enough words. So if we go up here, this little area is super cool. I don't know what I'm going to use as a thumbnail, you guys, but this island is so good. Look at this, this little apartment right here. I love when people use the clotheslines on apartment buildings. Those are so neat. And then over here, we have a little stall situation and kind of another land bridge to just close in the side to the right, which is really cool. Wow. I don't know if I spent all of my time on this island, I don't know that I would figure it all out. You know what I mean? There's so much to see here. I'm so sorry if there ends up being something that I miss. I feel like there's so much to see on this island. It's a bus, you guys. It's a bus. There's a bus here. I, oh my God, I love it. I love it so much. And then we have this view this breathtaking, stunning view that they've used out of a rock garden. I love that. And I think you can only go one way on this street. Oh no, here we go, okay. I love the little freight area over there. 
it's like a quarry really cool and i love that the rocket ships were kind of hidden i love this illusion right here it's just so nice so if i go up these stairs now i love that it looks like you can continue climbing the stairs even though you can't i love that it looks like you can what's in this present i must know red sparklers nice so we can just light some little sparklers and have a great time up here in this little overlook, just overlooking the ocean. Beautiful. I love this so much. Let me close it so I don't accidentally open it again. That would be good. And if you guys didn't know, this right here is one of the standard patterns that comes with a simple panel. It's, it's a great idea to use it. If you ever just need a concrete wall and you don't want to cut waste a custom design slot. So I'm going to come back up these stairs on the other side of the train where you have a better view of the train. I really like the break and the fencing so that we could see over a little bit better. So down there is a bunch of wheat fields, but it kind of looks uh, like there it was set in like a little irrigation ditch. So the, there's a whole situation going on there, kind of like the rice fields would be in more Asian countries. And then over here, we have blathers. Our museum is over here, and so is the Able Sisters. So let's take a look at what was done with the museum. The museum was perfectly hidden. Look at that. It's still a museum. There's like a little vase in front and it, it's given a more modern museum look with this sign over there. But it was hidden because, you know, the building of, for the museum doesn't go so well on this island. And outside of a museum, especially in California where I'm from, you would actually have something like this. You would have like buskers and street performers and things like that. People showing culture. I love that there's a staircase right here to make it look like you can come up the stairs. Such a great illusion. And then if you go back here, there's a little seating area right here, which is perfect. And then it overlooks that little waterfall. All of these things are so realistic. They're things that I would expect in any type of museum situation. So this ground code was also used in the transportation in like the bus stop. And I love the creative use of custom designs here because we don't get a lot of slots. This island feels very unrepetitive and like there's so many custom designs, so many more than we would normally get. And I love that. So this is our Able Sisters. The Able, Able Sisters is just looking really cool. Like they're just about to get a delivery. We have our little mannequins out front. I love that. And then we have some villager homes sprinkled in over here, which is perfect. And nature up on the cliff. Can you believe it? There's nature on the cliff. I love that. Wow. So all of this was behind the area back there. And this view, oh my gosh, you guys, this view is perfect. Perfection. It's stunning so stunning i love the arches and how you could have little peaks of things but you can't fully see them all and i love that okay continuing down the stairs right here we have a little back alleyway and it's kind of set up the way it would be like a little bit like downtown right so we have our street vendors over here it's like in los angeles if you go over to the shopping district there's like little areas similar to this where there's like food and you can sit down and there's fans blowing everywhere. This actually reminds me a lot of my childhood. I really, really love this. I love the little stacked pillows right next to the pillows. The stacked bags next to the pillows gives it the illusion of, you know, some blankets being stacked or some bags of food being stacked over here we have a little market really really cool we and she incorporated villagers houses into this build so this is really awesome 
We have a little parking area right here. This is so cool. And we have a school. There is a school. I was wondering because of the outfit here. <gasps> oh my gosh. Shut up. Really? No. I love it. It's perfect. Oh my gosh. Look at this. The way the piano sits in the front and then the little silos on the sides. This island is like nothing I've ever seen. It's absolutely fantastic. I love this so much. Oh my goodness. The amount of creativity that went into doing this. It's just so perfect. And then we have a little house, which I'll go into in a second. I'll go in it in a second. I swear. There's a little parking lot over here. Super cool. I love that. And then there's like a little back alleyway. I guess this was where, oh, this is, this is where Nook's Cranny led. So neat. I love that. I chose to go a different way when I first came in, but this is a track. Like it's a field track. Ew, we have truffles. <laughs> okay. So it's actually a track and it's really cool and it's around the soccer field, which my junior high actually had kind of a similar setup as well. And then we have the simple panel building, which is absolutely phenomenal. We have a little trash area over there. I love the fencing in the back. It's very fenced in. Oh my gosh, a little urban school. I love it. Okay, so let's go inside the house. Right away, this does look like walking into a high school. The first thing you would have is like the attendance hall with all of the staff over here, marking people present and doing real and like taking care of all of the paperwork that goes with running a school. So it is very realistic in that way. Back here, we have a cafeteria with some, it does look like cafeteria food, y'all. It really does. And then we have the gym with our basketball court. I love it. Super awesome. It looks like a high school gym. It really does. This school is definitely giving school. Here we have the infirmary for when you get injured at the gym. It looks pretty much like my high school infirmary looked like, you know, minus the wheelchair and the operating cart. But you never know what's going to happen over in that basketball court. Down here we have the auditorium. Every school has one. This is perfect. I love the way the counters were set up to look like a stage. It's absolutely perfect. So simple, but it really got the point across. And then up here we have our learning environment. I love this. This is so good. This island is so good. Have I mentioned that the island is really good? I love that there's a first aid kit in the corner and the blackboard. It is everything used on this island is incredibly realistic. I love this so much. Looks so cool. All right, let's go down. Okay, school's out for the day. Now let's go and see if there's anything that I missed. Oh, look at our friend over here. That's so cute. So this was the food area that we were right next to. And let's go further to the right. This is a villager neighborhood. Such a creative use of the villager houses. And if you look at the buildings back right next to each other, this is a very much giving downtown vibes. I love that so much. So cool. There's a little eating area right here. Another villager home. And then over here, it looks like there's a park. And she put a wheelchair here for me. You guys, I love when you guys leave wheelchairs on your um, islands. It just really does add and make me feel like people are looking to be inclusive. And I love that. Not all parks are accessible. So it's pretty awesome that this one is. What do we have here for presents? bubbles and ooh, 
Ooh, a tree. I'm gonna go for the bubbles because this is probably what my kids would be making me do. So cute. And then there's a little train station. I think the beach is decorated with a little bit of nature to just kind of blend in with the island. Up here, you could see the top of a building and it looks really good. Oh, wow. You guys, I'm done. I'm playing this game all wrong. So wrong. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm not doing it right. Look at this. This is so cool and so realistic. Everything here is so realistic. The little floaties holding the pier up. We have Wolfgang up there in his houseboat with his tea. We have boats in the front and this little area up in front. Everything looks so good. So good. I'm sorry, friend. I'm so sorry. And then we have more villager. We have more boats right here on the shore, which just brings it all together. I feel like. Wow. I'm going to break the illusion for a second just so I can run around in here. It's just a single tire watering water pattern, but I love the way it had this blends into these steps right here and it gives that harbor look. So cool. Oh, so there's a way up right here to Wolfgang's house. And I love the way the house blends in. This is all perfect. He's not completely abandoned, you guys. You can get to his house. I love that. So let's see what's down here. I didn't actually go to this side right away. I think because I was distracted by all of the other things that I could see. So this was the front of resident services when we came in and we did have a choice to come up here. Up here is another land bridge, which is really cool. And it leads to the other side of resident services or you can go down this way. And over here, there's a little transportation stop. Love that. And we have a bus over here doing bus things, you know, like taking people places like they're supposed to. And then we have this area right over here. Really cool. I love this. So if you choose to come down this way, there's a little eating area over here. It's like a food truck. I love it. It is definitely a food truck and there is food and we have drinks. I don't know what those drinks are, but they look awesome. And then we have another building over here, which looks really cool. So I love the umbrellas up there. They're bistro umbrellas. It looks so good. It looks like you can go in. Like I would love to just be able to walk right in. There's a little seafood market over here with our friend, the little crab that nobody likes. I think he's pretty cute though. I don't know if this is what Truffles does with her life, but if she does, maybe I'll accept her. I'm just kidding, I probably won't. So there is a fake staircase right here, but there's a little hidden ladder so that you can actually get up and look at the boats on the harbor, which is really cool. So you have to kind of go roundabout and find a way there but here there's this view right here and it's spectacular you guys so good wow so yeah you can come and have some rooftop dining and see this little area right here I'm so glad that I don't do island tours with the face cam because my jaw would probably be dropped the entire time the entire time I was on this island. It's so intricate, so detailed, and so cool. You guys, I highly recommend visiting this island. Okay, and we are done. Thank you guys so much for coming to this island with me and touring it. It's been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you so much to Sun Sun for allowing me to tour your amazing island. I learned 
so much here I will never forget. I'll probably come back several times. I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. I know you can be absolutely anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me and I'm incredibly honored. So thank you for that. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.